everyone, today I'm going to be talking about two-digit by two-digit multiplication using partial products. So I already have a problem that we're going to work on today, 28 times 12. And our first step, regardless of how many digits we're using, our first step whenever we're doing partial products is to place or put all values or all numbers into expanded form. And when we're talking about expanded form, we're talking about how these numbers come together with place values. So for example, 28 has a 2 in the tens place, so that's 20, and then it has an 8 in the ones place, and that's 8. So we know 20 plus 8 equals 28. So 28 equals 20 plus 8. Now what about 12? 12 is equal to, well, this 1 in the tens place is 10, and our 2 in the ones place is 2. So 10 plus 2 equals 12. Our second step is to create what I tell my students is we create our box. And when we create a box, what we're doing is we're drawing a rectangle. And we're putting one number on top. So just for the sake of this example, I'll put 28 on top. And we're going to put a number on the left side of our rectangle. I'll put 12. But as you see in our first step, we put it in expanded notation. So we're going to use this expanded notation for each of our numbers. So on top, I'm going to put 20 plus 8. And on my side, I'm going to put 10 plus 2. And in partial products, what we're really doing is we're multiplying each place value by the, by the others. So I want to make sure that when I do and create my box, that I'm making sure it's separated so I know what place values I'm multiplying by which at one time. So when I tell my students when we're creating the box, if we have our on top and I see a addition sign on the top of my box, I'm going to create a vertical line at every plus sign. And when I see a plus sign on the left side, on the vertical line over here, I'm going to create a horizontal line. So now I have four boxes. And what I'm going to multiply, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to multiply the place values by each other. So this first box on our top left is going to be reserved for 10 times 20. And 10 times 20 is 200. The next way we're going to multiply is we're going to multiply 10 times 8. And that's going to be 80. And I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to explain why we're multiplying these numbers together and why they're not going into different boxes. So when we have our 10, this 10 is going to take up this entire row. So we're going to multiply 10 by 200 and we're going to multiply 10 by 8. So this row is reserved for this 10 right here. And when we go to our next row, we're going to focus on this 2. So 2 is going to be multiplied by our 20 on top. So 2 times 20 is 40. And then 2 times 8 is 16. And once we do that, I'm going to get another piece of paper real quick. Once we do and have all the numbers filled in our box, our third step is to add all the numbers together. Add all the numbers in our box together. So I'm going to say add all the numbers
in the box together. So if I go back to my box, I have 200, so I'm going to add 200 plus 80, 40, and 16. And when we add, we're adding by our place value, so we look at the ones place first. 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 6 is 6. 8 plus 4 plus 1 is, 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. But this is in the tens place, so really this is 13 tens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a 3 here, and I'm going to carry the 1, because we have a 3 in the tens place, and a 1 in the 100s place, when we have that 130, when we're really adding it up here. And so 2 plus 1 is 3. So now we go back to our original problem, 28 times 12, and we figured out 28 times 12 was 336, using partial products to solve the problem.